Okay. Now that we got that situated, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Yo Boy's channel. Today we're actually heading over, it's raining, I hope I don't mess up my new camera. We're heading over to Specialized Exhaust. We're gonna hopefully get the quad tips installed on this car, get the quad retrofit done. I've been super late on this, like every time I get there, he's like, dude, this is a big job, we can't do it in three to four hours. We need, we need a lot more time. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. Every time I get there, they always are super busy, so I'm gonna go ahead and go three hours earlier than I normally do, and hopefully that should be enough time to get my quad exhaust done. Jonathan just detailed this car, and every time I get in it, I just feel so bad. Hey guys, we are here. Hopefully, we can get these quad tips installed. Oh my lord, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something else. Let me go ahead and ask. I just spoke with them, really chill guy. He said that um, they're actually super busy right now. They have two cars on the lift, so they're gonna know how to give me a call when it's time. So I'm gonna head home, just chill for a little bit, probably edit a video, and when it's time, they're gonna call me. I'm gonna come by and hopefully get this exhaust work done. Alrighty, so I don't know, should we get something to eat? Because it's not really a Norse vlog without getting something to eat. After doing a lot more research, I figured that Subway is healthy, but it's not as healthy as home food, obviously. So I still found the only place that you can eat on a daily basis that's not considered like unhealthy food would be Chipotle, mainly because their food is basically like meal prep. As long as you're not feeling cheeky and getting sour cream and stuff like that, you, you don't need that stuff. Anyways, I'll let y'all know what's gravy in the Navy in a little bit. You know what, I decided, let's hit the gym. Let's be good boys, let's hit the gym, let's get some reps in, and then get something to eat. All right guys, here at the gym, I'll let you guys know when they call me. Just got out of the gym, I feel ripped. Who gets that feeling as soon as you leave the gym, you just feel like you're ripped, and the next morning you're like, ah, you know, I wasn't as ripped as I thought, the, you know, the previous day. Anyways, we're gonna head down, probably get some Chipotle, um, and try to get as much meats in there as possible. Catch you guys when we're there. All right, let's see. Let's see if the shop's ready so we can hopefully get this exhaust. All right, guys, just picked up a few things from Joanne's. Now we're heading over to the exhaust shop. Hopefully, we can get this sorted. I'm trying to get my exhaust done. It's gonna be crazy. And Devon's here, guys. This dude's gonna scrape. Nope. Damn, y'all missed it. Looks good, bro. <laughs> Look at him flexing. <laughs> Look at the way you drive, bro. <laughs> You're like the coolest dude on the block. <laughs> Over there. So it turns out these tips guys are just massive so we'll have to see I don't even know right, So he found some tips that's actually gonna work on my car uh, So his tips are a lot smaller than these ones. That's what happens when you get some tips I finally bought some tips myself and brought it and it's not gonna work. So I told you to do that This guy well, where'd you get those from? <laughs> so anyways, I can't use this. So anyways, I'll save these for a future car, maybe a 335, maybe the giveaway car, we'll see, we'll see. Guys, yeah, check it out. So this is the route we're going with because there's no other way with that canister it's gonna fit. So it actually looks really good, dang. Good stuff, bro. Quad tips, boy. It's on a 128. If you guys didn't think it's possible, it's possible. Check that out. Oh my lord. So that looks perfectly legit. And then this one, look how they routed it. So nice. All the way over here. I don't know my camera's not focusing in too much, but basically a pipe goes into the side of both these pipes. It goes inwards, inside, and that one just like every other normal car. Perfect, but I mean, these came out really good. I couldn't use my own tips because these are really long. It wasn't gonna fit considering there's a canister there. Yeah, no, it's legit. It's sick. For everyone that's doing a muffler day, I honestly recommend cutting off the mufflers yourselves. It saves you about a hundred dollars, and I think the tool to do it is like twenty bucks, and you get to have a tool at the same time. So, I honestly always recommend cutting off the mufflers and then taking it to the shop. Like this whole job with the tips cost me three hundred. It's not a special price. This is what it is. So three hundred bucks with tips. I think that's a really good deal. And they made a quad tip, and this is with the wide pipe and everything. So this is really sick. Anyways, let's see how it actually looks on the ground. All right, guys, so he just went ahead and finished it and painted it black. So this looks a lot doper from the back. You don't actually see all this piping and stuff. And uh, if you guys look over here, he did the hangers, everything. 
Look at the, like, this looks super good, dang. Comes all the way over here. Damn, I can't wait to see her on the ground, bro. I wanna take a picture of it. Dang, guys, I don't know. I don't know now. I don't know, I was, I was thinking about letting it go. Ooh, we'll see, we'll see. Dude, this makes a big difference. Guys, I cannot believe how good this looks right now with the M bumper and the quad tips. I'm keeping the badge on. Do not roast me. I'm keeping the badge on. I'm not putting any different badges here. It's a 128. It's gonna stay 128, but it looks good. <laughs> this is not bad. It's, not, it's, 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 got a little, it's got a little sun sign, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, what? Is that a Prius with an exhaust system? No way. <laughs> what? What's up, guys? It's actually day two. Actually, not really day two. It's a couple days later, but considerably day two for this video. You can see the butte is just over there, chilling like a villain. Oh my lord, she looks so good. I do want to ceramic coat the wheels because I feel like they're getting kind of dirty. Um, so I do want to do that hopefully in the near future. But I don't know if I told a lot of you guys, but I'm going on this family trip in the next week or two. And my dad's trunk decided to take a shit on. So what happened is, I can show you guys the trunk real quick. If you pull up on it, it just goes down. There's like no shocks. And on this thing, the shocks are super hard to get to. So I wanna go ahead and help my dad fix that real quick. So we actually ordered the shocks. The shocks are already here. The shocks for that thing is over $300 for both sides. That's insane. But they look super weird and they look super sophisticated. So let's go ahead and try to figure out if we can replace these ourselves. That looks like it worked pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I need to get my keys real quick because uh, my toolbox is in my 435. So I don't know if this is the shock itself or the shock is in there. I don't know. This is just, some, yeah, this is just some wiring. Just go ahead and remove all these plastic housings so we can actually expose all this stuff. $300 trunk shocks. And that was from eBay. I went to Mercedes to get the part number. This is $700 for trunk shock. Guys, look at this trunk shock. Where the heck is this thing supposed to go? Does it go like that, maybe? I'm hoping. How am I supposed to get to that? From the inside, maybe? Ah, oh, man, this looks complicated. Okay. Um, that looks like a bunch of fun. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys see how deep that shock goes in? What the heck? Anyways, so it looks like you don't even need to remove the, the pieces off this. So, next time I'm not going to do that on that side. But, you need to remove this whole piece right here. Anyways, let me go ahead and try to figure out if it nets this thing. I've never been so pissed in my life. So, to replace this strut, look at this. Two of them first thing, each side. To replace this strut, you need to basically remove the whole roof and then remove this plastic thing that's like up here and then put your flathead or something and pop it up and then you get you take it out of here that's how retarded it is i mean normally you would have like a strut right here and it connects like right here it'll look something like that that's like a normal car but this car decided to be just want to be like that so i honestly do have no idea how to do this but i do see a plastic cover all the way back there so i'm assuming you have to remove all this stuff right here i'm going to try to remove this see how easy it is maybe i could just finesse my hand back there but we'll see All right, guys, even after removing this, it turns out that plastic piece is up here still. So to remove that strut, I legitimately have to take apart the whole roof of my dad's car. And since this is my dad's car, and I know how much he loves this car, one thing that I break, and if anything starts sagging, I'm gonna get my ass whooped. So I really wanted to help him on this. I did get him the struts, a really good deal. I think the struts are normally about like 700 bucks at Mercedes. That's how much they quoted me. And the labor at Mercedes was $600 to replace struts in the rear. That's absolutely ridiculous. But I'm gonna call my mechanic and head down to him and hopefully we can probably do it for like $100, $200. So if at least anything happens to the roof, I'm not gonna get in trouble, you know what I mean? I think it's kind of worth it in this kind of circumstance. It's not my car, it's my dad's car. And he's not a car guy. He doesn't understand that if a clip is missing, it's not a big deal. But for him, since this is his baby, I, I don't wanna mess with that. So let me go ahead and piece it all back together to how it was. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to take it down to a shop. That really sucks. So that really sucks. I don't like my dad paying money for stupid car repairs if he doesn't need to. I know I tried at least. I really, really tried to help him. But something like that would take the whole roof off. I asked his permission. I was like, do you want me to take the whole roof off 
and I can attempt to do it. It's just probably not gonna be today. It's gonna be another day. He even said no. He prefers that peace of mind to be done at that shop, and if something's actually wrong with it, the shop will take care of it. So we have the parts, which is the most expensive thing. Labor is still expensive, but hopefully he has a few friends and we can get it done for a cheap price. I told him if it's too expensive, your boy will take care of it. Anywho, guys, on my dad's non-car related note and the full exhaust on the 128, the 128 is pretty much ready to go. Now we're gonna be starting to look for the giveaway car. So if you guys are stoked for that, make sure to let me know. Let me know what kind of car you guys would want down below. A, a Z3, a Z4, an E90, E92, a 1 Series. Let me know what you guys wanna see down below as a giveaway car. And without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.